Hey there, I'm Jamie New, the founder of Smartest You, and in today's video, I've got something a little bit different for you. I've got 20 of the biggest lessons from 16 of the biggest managers from all around the globe. I'll tell you who they are, who they manage, and what their lessons are in a second, but as some of you may know, I started this whole thing as a blog back in May of 2013, which would make this month, May 2018, or the month I'm posting this video, our five year anniversary. Um, I can't even believe it, but we've been celebrating all month and doing a whole bunch of fun stuff, including uh, deals on our products. We shared a super fun infograph sharing the past five years of some successes. We're giving away five free scholarships to our upcoming group mentorship program. We started the process of a rebrand from Smart Band Management over to Smartest University. And of course, we had to do a special five year content piece. For this content piece, which is this right now, I thought you might want to hear some advice from some of the top artist managers in the biz. So I decided to go out and find out the biggest lessons from the biggest managers and collect them all together for you here. Uh, so we have a full article version, which actually contains their quoted responses, which is linked in the description below. But in this video, I've summarized them down into 20 points for you. All right, so who are the artists that these managers represent? Well, each of them have accomplished some amazing achievements, including uh, platinum awards and world tours, multi-millions of streams, top radio hits, Juno awards, Grammy awards, CMA awards, CCMA awards, and some of them have millions of fans worldwide. These artists include Mumford & Sons, Alessia Cara, Tyler Shaw, Carl Wolf, Kate Trinata, The Tragically Hip, Johnny Reed, Jess Moskaluk, Mother Mother, Sam Roberts Band, Blue Rodeo, Dean Brody, City in Color, and even producers such as Alex DeKid, who has worked with Imagine Dragons, Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, and many others. Uh, their amazing managers include Adam Tudhope of Everybody's Management, Danny Reiner of 21 Entertainment and Chris Smith Management, Pascal Malcoon of Lone Wolf, Nick Jarjour of Maverick Management, William Robillard Cole of WRC, Bernie Breen of Bernie Breen, Tracy Wilder of Halo Entertainment Group, Mike Denny of MDM Recordings, Darren Gilmore of Watchdog Management, Jen Sekdeo of Six Productions, Jerry Lembo of Lembo Entertainment, Jill Snell of Road Angel Entertainment, Susan DeCarche of Starfish Entertainment, Larry Wanagas, retired manager and formerly of Bumstead Productions, Ron Kitchener of RGK and Open Road Recordings, and Joel Carrier of Bedlam Management and Dynalone Records. So major thank you to all of these amazing game changers who have provided, provided you with their advice, uh, both in this interview and multiple interviews we've hosted in the past. So without further ado, here are their top lessons. Number one, accept other people for who they are. Really figure out who they are and why they do the things they do and try not to project your personal expectations onto them. Number two, manage other people's expectations appropriately. Learn how to get your artist's or partner's expectations aligned with reality or the potential future reality so that they are not disappointed later on. Number three, Always think about the big picture. Don't get caught up in minute drama in the moment because it will pass. Number four, you must love the artist and their music. It takes some serious love to want to spend 24 hours a day and seven days a week of your time on them and their dreams. Number five, you must be passionate about your artist and their dreams. When you are, you'll operate more like a partnership. Number six, should I keep doing these hands? This is a partnership and it's very much like a wedding vow. It's the closest relationship you'll have next to your spouse. Um, you are a team, so you must have the same belief and trust in each other. Number seven, communication is absolutely key. Be open and honest and get on the same page at all times. Number eight, protect yourself with written agreements. Money is one of the top issues that tear people apart. So get your financial and working terms laid out in writing before jumping into the partnership. Number nine, don't do your artist books. Make sure they have a different accountant and a different business manager than you. Number 10, no manager has a magic wand or a crystal ball. Everyone wins and everyone loses. 
Number 11, enjoy the journey. It's all about the process, not focusing on the end game and enjoying it while you can. Number 12, don't be afraid to ask the dumb questions, which never really are dumb. It'll help you much more if you simply ask for clarity when you don't know or don't understand something than trying to pretend that you know. Number 13, management is both one of the most frustrating and one of the most amazing jobs out there. Number 14, you are going to get shit on. Learn to have the stomach for being blamed for everything, even when it's not your fault. Number 15, you must have patience. Nothing is fast enough and everything takes longer than you think. Number 16, don't be a follower. Get inspiration from others, but don't concern yourself with what everyone else is doing too much. Just focus on what's best for your artist. Number 17, always look out for your artist's best interests. They are human beings. It's not just about money and business. You are in the people business. Number 18, don't just be a cheerleader. Uh, cheerleaders are great, but you need to tell your artists the truth, not just what they want to hear. Number 19, it's not just about the talent. It's about humility, determination, having a good attitude, a good understanding of the business, and an ability to invest financially or find investors. And last but not least, take time for yourself. Grow professionally, but also grow personally. Take care of and make time for yourself, your family, and your friends. So there you have it, 20 of the top lessons from some of the top artist managers around the globe. Um, be sure to check out the full article, which I've linked to below, and also comment with your biggest lessons. Uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your fellow music industry friends, and as always, thank you so much for watching.